We examine the support that's been provided to parents across New South Wales when they have babies. And that's not just first time parents, but it's parents in all sorts of contexts to see how the government is uh, supporting and protecting new babies as they come into the world in New South Wales. We conducted uh, firstly a couple of visits uh, to specific sites. Uh, to see how particular situations were being supported for Aboriginal families or for young parents. But we also invited submissions from a wide array of uh, groups in the end uh, that uh, had lots of things to tell us. Look, we found that the universal support program for parents is in fact fairly fragmented and inconsistent in the way it's delivered. So we've got some recommendations about how to support that. We found some specific areas of need where we thought some more support would be appropriate and uh, some gaps in service provision that we wanted to particularly address. Major recommendations was that each local health district should appoint a coordinator to manage that delivery, so to coordinate with non-government organisations and other government agencies to make sure that service provision was consistent across the district. We wanted to see a higher priority placed on support for uh, babies in Aboriginal families because of the, the high incidence of challenge that they face. And we also made some recommendations about uh, training of staff, use of technology and so on to provide greater and better coverage of services across the whole state. Look, we hope that it will have an impact on the ground for families, that parents will find that when they have a particular need early in the life of their new baby, that they know where to go to get some assistance, that that universal service provision has reached out to them to make that connection, and that for families facing great disadvantage and particularly high needs, that there is the right sort of provision to back them up.